Now I want to introduce to you guys the very important concept of Iken Hisatsu. Okay? You heard about me talk about a little bit of it in the previous video, but this is essentially the most important concept in all of karate. Okay? My opinion, this is the most important concept of all in all of karate because all the concepts and all the moves that I just demonstrated, all the striking combinations, are built around the concept of Iken Hisatsu. So let me explain. Remember that this originally started off as a self-defense martial art, which means I had weapons, or I had a samurai sword, or whatever it was, or I had a knife, and my objective on the battlefield, whether you were a farmer, peasant, whatever, some, some, uh, some bandit robbing my, my farm, for example, my objective was to kill you as fast as I could because there will likely be multiple people or multiple bandits that I have to fight, okay? So it's not like, you know, modern sport fighting where I'm scoring points and maybe I'll get a chance to run away and then hit you again. It's not really like that, okay? The concept here is if I have one chance to kill you, like you might kill me too, like you might have a weapon, you might have a knife, you might kill me too. In order to make sure that I survive and I don't die, I need to make sure that any attack I commit to, I kill you with that one blow, and then I move on to the next opponent and I kill him with one blow. Those are all the karate attacks, whether you're doing punches, whether you're doing kicks, anything, it's based around that concept. So, you saw me show off the combinations, right? Why do we do the leap in? Karate cross. Why don't we do the cross? Why don't we throw in a hook? Why don't we throw in you know any other attack? It's because throwing a karate straight cross, it is the most simple and direct move that I can do that takes me from the distance from point A to point B. Fastest, travels the fastest, and it is arguably the strongest attack I can do outside of a boxing hook, obviously, but this is not boxing. And if you try to hook somebody in real life, like you might break your hands. That's why we do a lot of karate conditioning. We do a lot of wrist conditioning. We'll show you a little bit of that later. We do a lot of these conditioning so that once we strike, we make sure we commit everything to that strike, Iken Hisatsu, which means one hit or one punch, certain death or absolute death, okay? Which is why all the karate combinations, they look like this. Boom, boom. My whole body is into it. I'm striking all the way through, all my power, boom, because I want to eliminate that opponent. I want to annihilate that opponent with one shot, okay? Which is why I feel karate translates very well to fighting in MMA, because if I can get the job done in one strike or two strikes, why do I want to, you know, punch you 20 times, right? I hit you a couple times, you're already in trouble, I want to knock you out, I want to finish the fight, okay? It is a finishing concept. Okay? It is not so much a point scoring concept, it is a finishing concept. The sports side is a point fighting concept. The martial arts side is a finishing concept. But the two can be combined together and you can find a happy medium between the two. Adjust it, modify your striking, so then it becomes a point based style, but with finishing power. Point based style, finishing power. That's the concept of Ikin Satsu, and if you take one thing away, you gotta internalize that Ikin Satsu concept and use it to your advantage.